Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Friday live stream. I am Craig, and uh, today we're going to be going over what we know about Paramount Plus, among other things. I'm also going to announce who won last week's giveaway, and uh, we will start another giveaway today. So, on that note, uh, if you will go to the description below, or I'll find a link and share it in the chat as well, um, you can go to the description, excuse me, and get the... Uh, the link to this week's giveaway. This week I am giving away a uh, an Echo Auto. So if you've ever wanted to have Alexa in your car, then you can do that. I hesitate to say the name too loud because I know it can set off whatever devices you have sitting in the room with you. So, um, all right, let me get that link for the, oh, that's not right. I want the link for the giveaways. Okay. Fascinating, fascinating TV. I know watching me hunt down links is what you're all here for. That's, I know. I, I know how to run a, a live stream. Don't worry. Okay. So there is that link for you. And good. While we're waiting for people to uh, pop in, go ahead and throw in the chat if you have any questions uh, or comments about Paramount Plus. And we're going to go over some of the basics today. Um, I'm hoping I can answer all of your questions, but there may be some that, uh, that I haven't read up on enough yet. So I guess we shall see. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and hit that, uh, hit that chat with any questions you might have. All right. In the meantime, let's see. Oh, yeah. No, I did want to show you if I can. Here is, oh, hello. Is it uh, Shoaib? I, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, <laughs> Hassan. I'll just call you Hassan. All right. So this is the page where you're going to be going. And I want you to bookmark this page if you're watching this live stream. Um, if you join us week in and week out, if you're here for a lot of our videos, this is a page that you'll actually want to bookmark and come back to. So if you can't make a live stream for some reason, I mean, you can always go watch it afterwards and, and uh, check the description for a link. But if you have this one, um, uh, if you have this one bookmarked, we're going to be updating this hopefully every Friday. It looks like a few of you have already come in here today before we even started uh, today's live stream. But we're hoping to come in here and refresh it every Friday with a new uh, giveaway. Because the thing is, we do all sorts of stuff uh, as far as testing and reviewing and all that. So we often have things sitting around that eventually are just, they're just kind of gathering dust and maybe we don't use them anymore. Um, and so we figure it's uh, better to find them a good home. Um, so that's why we're doing this. So when we're doing this Echo Auto, so you can see, you'll always see what it is we're giving away right here, an Echo Auto, got a little uh, description there. Um, this is an Echo Auto that I have unboxed and used and tested and all that. So it's not a, a brand new thing. Most of the things we'll be doing on these giveaways are things that I, that I have tested or Steve has tested or Tashaka has tested, um, the other contributors on the channel may have uh, have used them. Anyway, okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. I'm just gonna go check the, I kind of wish I could flip my, I'm sure I can, I'm just not bothering to do it, flip my video, because I'm looking at the chat, but I know it's showing up as the opposite side for you. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, this is a good question. So about Paramount Plus, does it have live TV available? That's a great question. Um, you're welcome for having the Q&A, Angel. Uh, glad you're here. I smell? <laughs> That's probably true. Who knows? Um, okay. With theaters closed, this is the best thing to watch on a Friday night. Well, I certainly uh, appreciate that. I doubt that's true. Uh, but I appreciate the sentiment. That's really nice of you. Thank you very much, Socrates. By the way, speaking of teas, <laughs> I should put another list, or I should put another link out. Um, if you enjoy reviews.org, if you enjoy this channel, you find yourself watching it quite a bit, one of the ways you can support the channel actually is by going to our merch store. Um, and you can find that, uh, I think you can find that under most of the videos that we do, but I should get... Uh, 
a link for those who are who are true fans. In fact, dang it, I never have it sitting. I took it inside to wash it. I never have it sitting on the desk when I need it. I've got a little mug that says Craig is always right and you can buy one for yourself in the merch store. So check underneath each of our videos and, uh, and in the meantime, I'll look for a link for it. Um, okay, so let's see, will it have CBS Sports Channel? Great question. Um, where can we stream it? Roku, Google, Amazon, excellent question. Okay, and will it have a watch list? That's a good question. Will it be premium like HBO Max? All right. Well, we've got some good questions. Hopefully, we're going to be answering most, if not all, of those here today. Um, so, yeah, we'll go over this. This will probably be a, a pretty short live stream, if I'm being honest. Uh, you know, oftentimes I'll go for an hour or an hour and a half. I'm not sure that I will um, on this occasion, but that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do first is, oh boy, pull up our winner. Let's draw a winner for the Roku Express. Okay. The winner for the Roku Express. This is excellent. Uh, we got a few entries on that last week, and the winner came out as Kawika Productions. So um, if, if that is you, if you are watching, expect an email from me soon. Uh, you can also email me directly. Um, it's, uh, well, you know what? No, I'll email you instead of shouting out my email address for everybody. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's just an invitation to disaster. So yes, I will email you before the end of the day and uh, let you know what you need to do. So congratulations to... Kawika Productions, uh, that's the screen name that they put down anyway, and so I will be getting in touch about that. So for the rest of you, if you're just joining, um, there that's not the only thing we have going on. We're gonna be doing a lot of these uh, giveaways, and so make sure you uh, check out our giveaways page. I linked to it earlier. Let me see if I can uh, pull up that link again and um, pin that. Here we go. I'm going to pin that message. So yeah, anytime during this live stream, you can go and check out that uh, giveaways page. This week, it's an Echo Auto. Uh, so if you've ever wanted to have her in your car, uh, then you can do that. Uh, pretty slick little device. So, all right. How different is Paramount Plus from CBS All Access as far as layout? Okay, well, that's this is a good place to start. What we can and can't talk about. I have not seen uh, the layout for Paramount Plus yet. I am. Uh, I may be very very cool, very cool, but I'm not cool enough to get the uh, <laughs> early access. So have not uh, haven't had a chance yet. Um, so I can't tell you about layout. Uh, as long as it's not as bad as um, as Hulu, then I'm good. Uh, okay. So let's talk now about uh, Paramount Plus and what we know about Paramount Plus so far. So it is the successor to CBS All Access. So if you're brand new to this, you've never heard of Paramount Plus, you're like, what, another streaming service? Oh my gosh, it's not quite. This is a successor to CBS All Access and it's going to be a one-to-one -one shift uh, from, well, I mean, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Uh, but I kind of put this up here so we could see what you get with CBS All Access now and what you can expect, expect with Paramount Plus once it rolls over. And that is going to happen on March 4th. I think that's next, is it Friday? Uh, Thursday, next Thursday on March 4th. Um, this is an excellent question from Lewis. When will it be in the UK? Let me look that up for you. That is an excellent question. Thank you so much, Lewis. Um, no. Let's see what the internet has. To be honest, I, I hadn't looked at that question because I'm not in the UK, so I, I uh, didn't think of it, but that is a great one. Um, okay. It's as of now, or I should say as of a day ago, it's unclear if the service will launch in the UK. Let me ask you this though, Lewis, do you have CBS All Access in the UK? 
Because if so, then I'm guessing that it would um, shift over to that eventually as well. Uh, but I cannot remember if CBS All Access is in the UK. Seems like it is. Um, so yeah, let me know, Lewis, what um, what the situation is there. Anyway, right now with CBS All Access, we've got uh, two price tiers, $6 a month or 60 bucks a year for the with commercials version. The premium tier without commercials is $10 a month or 100 bucks a year. What you're getting with that, 3,000 episodes, 200 movies, which is kind of a low number when you think about it. You think about all these other streaming services. This one really is about TV, right? CBS All Access is all about the TV. Um, it does have a few originals like Star Trek. <clears throat> it's got some live sports and news. In, in fact, CBS All Access includes the live stream for the nation, the, the national uh, CBS stuff the channel uh, and your local CBS affiliate. And so CBS All Access has that. Um, and if you did fork over the 10 bucks a month, you were able to get the, the uh, offline viewing, could download stuff um, on the commercial free plan. Uh, as for Paramount Plus, in this case, here's the deal. Here's the weird thing. If you sign up right now, you've got the option for a $10 a month tier. But in June, they're going to be doing a $5 a month tier additionally. And this gets a little bit confusing. Oh, I'm sorry about my, that was weird formatting there. Oh, well, bad Craig. Um, with, with this coming in June, one of the questions is, well, what happens if I've got the lower tier CBS All Access? What happens when I switch that over or when, when it automatically flips over to Paramount Plus? Well, if you are grandfathered in on the lower price point, the $6 a month, that is going to carry over and you'll get a commercial filled <laughs> version of Paramount Plus. It's just that that is not available for new signups until June. Um, so my guess, I, I, I don't know exactly why they're doing that, but my guess is they just want as many people as they can possibly get on that premium price here. Um, and then they'll fill in the cracks with uh, whoever was kind of sitting around waiting for that $5 a month to come up. Maybe something like that. Anyway, the biggest standout, uh, two biggest standouts from Paramount Plus as far as what you're going to get on this is the uh, 30,000 episodes that remains the same across the two. But 2,500 movies is a lot more than 200 because they're bringing in the Paramount library um, as well as just, you know, the, the CBS stuff that we were getting before. And they're going to have 36 originals. And the originals, we'll get to that in just a moment. So yeah, they do have quite a bit of stuff on that for you to um, to dig into. So I've got a few more things. Let me see if, uh, if I've uh, missed anything here. Okay, so Lewis, we do not have CBS All Access in the UK. That's good to know. Um, and so in that case, I'm guessing Paramount Plus would come quite a bit later, if at all. Uh, because this is so US centric as far as um, as far as like you know it's all about the local affiliates and it's, it, this is it's uh, the the live stream especially is uh, it's very US centric so I wonder I wonder what they'll do for those outside the US I would like it if they would offer it everywhere it would seem smart, especially with the expanding library with all these Paramount movies and whatnot, there's going to be a great catalog of stuff to, to dig into. So I hope you get access to it. Um, okay. So will I be able to see East Coast sports teams? That's a great question from Alex. And I hope so. I will tell you what, I, I live in Utah, so I'm on the West Coast schedule for CBS and it really grinds my gears when I want to watch the Saints play. Uh, I, I followed the Saints this year um, watching the NFL. And sometimes I could watch them, but sometimes it would show me the, the Rams, I think, is the, the team out here that, um, that I could never quite escape, even when I wanted to watch the Saints play. So, Alex, that's probably much like with CBS All Access and, and other ways that you're watching CBS uh, live streams. It's probably going to depend on where you're located. Um, so some people use a VPN to get around that. I don't, eh, it's, a, it's a morally gray area using VPNs to get around geographic content. Um, but uh, if you're already on the East Coast, then you should be good. Um, 
How does it compare to par- or to HBO Max? Let's uh, let's hold that thought. Maybe bring that back up again at the end, and maybe we can talk about that a little bit. Um, okay, did I miss anything else? All right. So Blackworm says it's already available in some European countries. I hadn't heard of that. Uh, that would be interesting. Okay. Oh, this is a great question. Okay. I have CBS All Access on my Apple TV. Will there be a separate app for Paramount Plus, or will the existing app just magically transform? It will magically transform. You don't have to do anything. This is great. This is actually a lot like when HBO uh, Go, HBO Now, whatever, (laughs) when the HBO stuff became HBO Max, um, it just automatically updated. So if you have your, and this is something you can turn off, but if on your streaming device, you have automatic updates for apps turned on, then you'll wake up on the fourth and it should have done that automatically. If it hasn't done it quite yet, you just go in do a manual update and yeah, it'll, it'll take care of that for you. And so your CBS all access plan, your monthly bill, Uh, will remain the same. They just flip a switch and you get access to Paramount Plus and all of the the new content that they've got on there. Um, Okay. Will it still offer the local CBS affiliate channel like CBS AA? Okay, well, this is, let's let's bring up another page here um, of little things to note. Uh, Let's see, this is the, the bullet point that I want to point out, the lower tier won't have access to the CBS live stream. So if you are looking for local affiliates and live uh, TV, you won't be able to get that on the lower tier. You need to go get the um, the $10 a month premium version. So in that, in that tier, you won't get commercials and you will get the live stream. Obviously with it being live TV, you'll still get commercials on that, but you won't have it in, in the on-demand content. Okay, so if, oh, I think I've already answered this, Dana. I hope so. If you have CBS All Access, you do nothing. You just let the app update itself and it will take care of all of that for you. Okay. Uh, No word on Australia. Um, Although as you, as some of you might know, uh, there is an Australian version of reviews.org. So I should uh, hit up my, uh, my reviews.org pals down there and find out if it's going to be the same thing. I imagine it will be the same. Um, the question in my mind is, are the dates going to be the same? So, but when, the, when it does switch over, I imagine they're doing it worldwide. So at least that's what I would hope they would do. I always like it when they keep it simple. Sometimes I don't get my wish. Okay. So yeah, as far as local news and sports, if you want that, live stream, that local live stream, make sure you're on the upper tier. Okay. Uh, The other thing, oh yeah, that's right. If you are interested in uh, Paramount Plus, then make sure you sign up by uh, by March 3rd and you can get half off your first year. It's a pretty sweet deal. So uh, let's see, I was, uh, let's go this way. What was it? The first year, um, Ooh, did they give us a yearly? So $10 a month. I think it's still $100 a year or uh, 50 bucks a year for, well, now that's just the thing in June. So basically you can get it for 50 bucks for your first year if you sign up <laughs> by March 3rd. Whew, did that make any sense? So as far as I know, that's just for new signups. So I'm not sure you can get that if you're already a CBS All Access subscriber. I haven't, I haven't, pulled the trigger yet. I'm going to, but my CBS All Access um, uh, login, I need to go find it so I can log in and make the change myself. All right. The other thing, um, oh yeah, we already talked about new signups only having the premium option to start. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. You probably already saw this when I accidentally clicked over, but one glaring omission, one thing that they do not have, they're going to have all these movies, all the new originals, but Yellowstone there's no word that it's going to be on this streaming service yet. Uh, So it sounds like it won't be there at least at first, which is weird because the Paramount channel on cable is what carries Yellowstone. It's one of the most popular dramas out there now, and it's not on Paramount Plus. Very strange. Uh, But that is, um, that that is the way it is for now. Um, 
let's see. As far as the new content that is coming up, let's pull some of that up. It's a ton of new series. They are launching with one movie, and this will excite some people and annoy others. But the one movie they're launching with is the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. So if you're a big SpongeBob SquarePants fan, then uh, you'll, you'll have something to watch on day one. At least I'm pretty sure it's on day one. But they've also announced a bunch of new series, and a lot of them are reboots. And so there's a Criminal Minds reboot. Obviously, that's a series. I forgot to put that there. But Flashdance, um, Love Story, what, The Italian Job, these are all, the Parallax View, these are all movies that are being turned into series. Some of them are limited series. Some of them will be ongoing. But it's definitely an interesting choice. They're really leaning on some of their IP, their existing IP. They, they want that name recognition because, uh, you know, as one person I was listening to put it, this is every, every time you see something with <laughs> with name recognition like Criminal Minds um, or maybe the Italian job to a certain extent, but certainly something like Star Trek, you save yourself 50 million bucks on uh, on marketing, right? Getting the word out about the series. People will take care of it themselves. I love Criminal Minds. Of course, I'm going to sign up and watch that. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious in the chat, go ahead and throw in if you are, if there's anything here that you are really excited for. Um, if there's anything I'm interested in, whoo, maybe the Halo series, I'd like to see what they do with that. I wasn't, didn't play a lot of Halo growing up, but um, I'm certainly familiar with it. And I, I do love a good kind of sci-fi action adventure. So yeah, maybe that one. And there is a Yellowstone spinoff that will be on there at some point. Uh, one would hope that they bring the actual uh, Yellowstone show onto <laughs> Paramount Plus by the time they've got the spinoff going. Um, <laughs> I love this. They seem cool, I guess. That's, uh, if I'm being honest, that's about where I'm at with the new shows. I'm much more excited about the... Uh, the content library that Paramount will bring with it. I can watch, I, I can finally watch Top Gun on repeat every single day. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. I'm, it, it's a bit like Disney Plus. When Disney Plus came out, uh, they released all these things about new shows that they're going to have coming up. And I was like, nah, that's fine. But really what I want is that giant backlog of content uh, for me and my kids to enjoy. So I feel a little bit that way with uh, Paramount Plus also. Star Trek and the Italian job, Star Trek and Halo, Italian job and Halo. So um, anyway, there's one other thing I was going to mention. And somebody asked earlier about devices. Um, what devices can you watch this on? Uh, they haven't said anything different than CBS All Access. So if you have CBS All Access, then you should be able to uh, watch Paramount Plus on the same device. They haven't announced that, it, you know, kind of like HBO Max, it wasn't working on Roku and Fire TV to start. And so everybody else's apps updated automatically. And my stinking Roku TV didn't have the HBO Max app on it for a long time. Um, and so as far as I know, that is not going to be the case here. If it was available on, if, if you are watching CBS All Access on it, then you'll be able to watch Paramount Plus on it. So, uh, Paramount, ooh, that's a great question here. Paramount now has its own standalone app. Any reason to keep that? Maybe. As of right now, the Paramount, like I said, the, the weird thing that we're missing um, is the uh, Yellowstone show. So if you use the Paramount app, to watch Yellowstone, that's not going to port over just yet to Paramount Plus. So that might be a reason to keep um, the standalone app, but not hopefully not much. Because the last thing I want is, um, you know, it's like every time AT&T does uh, an update with it was HBO and then HBO Max and HBO Go, um, AT&T TV, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember there are 12 different streaming services and you couldn't keep them all straight. And then finally they started funneling everything into HBO Max. <laughs> I was like, thank goodness. Um, hopefully that'll be the case here. Oh man, I'm getting all blurry. Hopefully that'll be the case here. 
and everything will kind of funnel into uh, Paramount Plus uh, as we go. Okay. Oh, another great question. Jason asks, uh, there's a lot of Nickelodeon con a lot of Nickelodeon content currently on Netflix. Will they share for the first year or so, or will, will everything just come across to Paramount Plus? Um, a lot of times with that, you'll actually see it stay on the other service until whatever contract they have runs out. The exception to that would be if um, if Paramount needed to, or if they wanted to buy those contracts out, then they could potentially go to Netflix and say, "Yeah, it's supposed to be there for another year, but we're gonna we're gonna yank it and um, pull it over here, and here's your twenty million bucks, fifty million bucks, whatever it is, you know, five thousand dollars, <laughs> whatever the licensing is for whatever show, um, they may have to buy that contract out." So you saw this um, with. Uh, when Disney Plus launched, they launched with most of the Marvel titles, but not all of them, because some of them were available on Netflix, and some of them were on Hulu, and some of them were on HBO, and so they had to wait until those uh, contracts ran up before they could claw those shows back. The Office, uh, when Peacock launched, Peacock launched in April of last year, but they had to wait until January 1st of this year to grab The Office, even though that is... Uh, uh, an NBC property, they couldn't bring it to NBC's streaming service until the contract was up. So I'm sorry, the short answer to your question is, I don't know. Um, I can tell you what has happened before, and that is probably what will happen here. My guess is that Netflix will hang on to whatever Nickelodeon content they've got um, until whatever contract they have runs up. So Hopefully that uh, gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, the lay of the land as far as Paramount Plus goes. If you have any other questions on it, hit the uh, the uh, comments, the chat, I guess, over here. Um, I will be doing, I'll, I'll try to do a day one review of it next week when it comes out. Um, and so if you have any questions, put them in there. Or after this video is done, you can put them in the comments below. Uh, and I can address those uh, at that point. Um, hopefully I get to everybody's uh, questions by the time we get there. Um, okay, like this question, I don't know the answer for sure, but um, I am guessing that yes, you will be able to, especially if you're a new sign up and you're getting the $10 a month premium tier uh, with that half off, you know, get it before March 3rd, that um, it will mirror the $10 a month version of CBS All Access, where you will be able to down, download content locally. Um, the only question in my mind is what's going to happen with that lower tier. You can't sign up for the lower tier um, at the beginning. You can't do it right now, but they're saying you will be able to in June. And will you be able to download content? We're not sure yet, but that's a very good question. Um, okay, so uh, here you go. And this is one of those ones where I, I wish I wish I was a sellout to get paid for this, but I <laughs> I don't have I don't have any affiliate links or anything for um, for Paramount Plus. But if you just Google search, in fact, I'll do it now. If you Google search Paramount Plus, um, let's pull it up here. Uh, okay, Google search Paramount Plus. You click on that first link. Uh, and when you're in here, you can go all the way down here to the bottom, get in first, try it now, you get 50% off your first year. So yes, you can uh, sign up for it right now. If you're looking for it on your streaming device, they haven't rolled it over yet um, from CBS All Access to Paramount Plus, but you can still go online, sign up, and that uh, if, if you have CBS All Access already, don't worry about it. If you don't, then you go online and do it create that account, and then you can go in and uh, log in using that email address and password. Um, so, oh, and by the way, Billy Dean, I'm new to the apps and Fire Stick. Well, <laughs> uh, allow me, if it's okay, to plug my own content, right? Shameless self-promotion, shameless. Uh, go to our channel. Uh, first of all, like and subscribe and all that stuff, but go to our channel and check out my playlist. Um, it's, uh, I think it's, it's called Craig is Always Right, and it's a whole streaming playlist. And if you're brand new to your Fire Stick, there's a bunch of content just about the Fire Stick, best apps you can get on there, tips and tricks, things you can try, 
Um, so yeah, go check out the rest of our channel. We have hundreds of videos now on the channel for you to search through if you have a question about streaming content. I, I'll be the one to talk about most streaming content and devices and all that stuff. If you have questions about mobile uh, devices and mobile service, Tashaka covers a lot of that. Uh, we've got Steve doing smart home and home security devices. Um, and now we have Juan covering internet service and uh, you know internet devices and tips and tricks and all that stuff for your home internet. Um, so we've got all sorts of stuff. Please go go check it out. Um, well, thank you, Crush Me Ninety Nine. I uh, I appreciate that. I don't know what to say other than thank you very much. That's very nice of you. All right, we're gonna have a, a Nickelodeon of Avengers. Pretty sure that's trademarked, but something like that, that would be fun. Um, okay, then here we go. All right, the $5 question. It's not quite the $20,000 question, but it's pretty close. Um, no, I appreciate this question, Zachariah. How do you think this service stacks up to Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Max, etc.? This is um, actually what I want to do maybe next week on the stream. So make sure you're here next week. What I'm going to do, there's a, a website where I can rank order um, or like kind of grade all of the services. And I plan to do that there. So we'll do it more formalized next week. But off the top of my head, um, my first thoughts are, let's see, how does it stack up to Disney Plus? Um, perfectly well. I think Disney Plus... Um, Paramount Plus. Oh, what's the other one that I keep <laughs> I keep mistyping? Uh, Paramount. Plus. Oh, they're they're all fleeing my mind now. All these streaming services. This is what happens when you shovel so much streaming content into your head. Some of it invariably falls out. Um, they, these there is a, a a tier of service that's like in the five to ten dollar a month range and this fits really nicely with all of those really what it comes down to is the content itself does this does this app have the content you're after um and so i would it's not not quibi not quibi and it wasn't peacock uh, peacock is a little bit different although it, you know it kind of occupies a similar boat but um uh, they have the lower tier, the, all these five to ten dollar a month services. They have the lower tier with five bucks, or uh, the premium tier for ten bucks. Um, Disney Plus doesn't quite fit with that because they just have the the regular seven dollar a month um, uh, price point. But my point is that with all of those, it's going to uh, Discovery Plus. Thank you um, for that. Discovery Plus, Apple Apple TV Plus. They all depend on whether you like their content. So if you're somebody who loves uh, that kind of um, simple, enjoyable reality TV, like HGTV or Discovery or um, Food Network, that sort of thing, then Discovery, no, sorry. <laughs> See, it's too much. Yeah, Discovery Plus is awesome, right? If you enjoy CBS scripted dramas, uh, that kind of, that weekly CBS lineup, the dramas, the sitcoms and whatnot, then Paramount Plus is going to be amazing. If uh, if you like premium content, uh, but you don't want to pay HBO prices, then Apple TV Plus at five bucks a month is, I, I, I'll, I'll preach it from the rooftop until they screw something up. They're awesome. I highly recommend Apple TV Plus. Um, so yeah, sorry. As far as it, it, it settles nicely among its peers. Um, but then you get into the other services and Netflix and HBO Max are kind of setting themselves aside by not having a commercial supported tier. Uh, Netflix has stated they're never gonna do that. Um, you know, we'll see if they hold to that, but they've said that they're not gonna do that. And HBO Max doesn't have a commercial supported tier. So in both of those cases, Netflix is 14 bucks a month for the middle tier, if I recall correctly, the one that I think most people should probably get. Um, and HBO Max is 15 bucks a month. So how does Paramount Plus stack up to those? Um, uh, it's a lot easier to sell a service for five bucks a month or 10 bucks a month 
uh, than it is for 14 or 15, right? Um, if you like the content. So how does it compare? How do I think it stacks up? I think it, it stacks up really well with those among its own class. Um, and then as far as HBO Max and, and Netflix go, a little bit a uh, little bit different kind of apples and oranges there. Um, so, but yeah, that's a good question. And I am excited to finally get to fire it up uh, next Thursday and and get my impressions of it and see um, whether I like it more than, you know, something like Peacock or uh, Discovery Plus. I love Discovery Plus, though. I think it's great. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. That's true. Socrates, Disney does have a bunch of new Star Wars and Marvel shows. It's, I'm, I'm, I wasn't looking forward to them very much until it turned out that WandaVision <laughs> is one of the most interesting and inventive shows that I've ever seen. Um, I, I am enjoying that. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I haven't watched today's episode, so nobody spoil it, but, um, but yeah, I, I am really enjoying that. So I'm looking forward to the new Disney plus stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is all, uh, the case for a lot of people, Josh. Uh, all the Nickelodeon content coming to Paramount Plus is going to be a huge a huge deal for those who uh, enjoy that. I'm wondering if they're going to bring back like the old Ren and Stimpy shows. That's what I grew up on. Uh, you know, as long as my parents weren't in the room, I could sneak a little Ren and Stimpy. It was a little uh, loud and loud and rude for their taste, but uh, <laughs> I enjoyed some of that. Okay. What name would you have gone with instead of Paramount Plus? What a great question. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't mind it. I, I've kind of just given in. You know, it's a, it's a cliche at this point to call something, you know, whatever plus. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's a bit like how on any given website, like, you know, you're on YouTube right now, or if you go to, go to reviews.org, it's a convention that up in the top left-hand corner, You'll see the logo for the the site, and you just you just know that if you click on that, it'll take you to the homepage. There's no reason it has to be that way, but it's kind of you know it's it's nice to know the rules. Similarly, with Paramount Plus um, or Apple TV Plus or uh, Discovery Plus or whatever, it's kind of nice to know that with the plus thing on the end of it, oh, it's a streaming service. Oh, okay. Um, and so we're kind of slowly working our way into possibly that kind of uh, settled convention. So what would I have called it instead of Paramount Plus? I think that's good enough. It's good enough for me. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, okay. I apologize, by the way, if, um, if I am missing anybody's comments. I, I'm trying to, uh, to catch up. Ooh, are you afraid of the dark? That's a great one. Man, talk about my childhood coming back to life. Okay. Current subscriber uh, to CBS All Access, is the annual 50% off deal available to me? You know what? Sick and tired of not knowing the answer to that. Let's find out. Talk amongst yourselves. And I am going to uh, try to log into my CBS All Access account. Um, if I can remember the uh, the password for it. And we'll see see what happens when I um, try to port that over. Oh boy. Well, we'll we'll see if I can do it. If I can't, then it's going to be one of those questions that I can answer in the uh, community tab. So if you're subscribed to the channel, uh, then you'll see those pop up uh, on your home screen, the stuff from our community tab, and I can answer that question there. Let me see if I can actually get in, oops, and uh, and figure that out for you. CBS All Access, no, but I'm not logged in there. Let's try somewhere else. No. Okay. Let's get logged in. Hmm.
One more try. scintillating uh, live stream, I know, but uh, such is the way of things. I'll see if I can answer this question. I think it's a great question. Um, I just need to figure out whether I can. Um, okay, so Blackworm says, I don't think it is um, available. I had to cancel my subscription, create a new account. That's, that's my suspicion. Um, they don't want to hand out any more of those, those half-off coupons than they have to. Um, and so my guess is for those CBS All Access subscribers who aren't paying attention, it's just going to roll over and they're going to keep paying like normal. Um, if you do, you can go ahead and cancel your CBS All Access subscription um, and just use a different email address, uh, open up a, a new Paramount Plus account, um, and that will get you the uh, the 50% off for sure. Um Okay, isn't it just a code? Uh, there is a code that is applied on checkout. Um, the code is, and here I can pull this up here. Um, the code they say is uh, Paramount Plus, oh, let's get rid of that, uh, right here, Paramount Plus, all caps. Um, it will be automatically applied upon checkout. So it's possible that if you go to renew your, um, uh, your subscription to CBS All Access, perhaps you can use that. Go ahead and give that a try and let me know uh, how it goes. I'd love to, to hear if that works. Um. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> they just add plus to the end to make it catchy. Well, I don't know about that. Um. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's just a, like I said a few minutes ago, it's just a convention to make sure we all know that, oh, it's a streaming service. That's fine by me. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Somebody, I, I am going to hunt down the answers to, um, to those questions uh, of what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and get signed into my uh, CBS All Access account, and I will answer that question in the comments of this video and I'll put something in our community tab. So if you wanna come back and check that, give me an hour, um, I'll get that taken care of and, uh, and, and I'll answer that for you there. For the rest of you who are still here, don't forget there's a, a pinned comment uh, in the chat. That link is gonna take you to our giveaways page. This week we are doing, um, uh, we're giving away an Echo Auto. So it's a way to get in your car. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little device. Uh, it is a used <laughs> Echo Auto because um, I've unboxed it and tested it and all that stuff. So it is that version. So make sure you um, you go check that out. Uh, go check out that page and bookmark that page. For, for the rest of you, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. And uh, come back next week. I'll announce the winner of this live or of this uh, giveaway. And I'm sure we'll do another one next week as well. Until then, until next Friday, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe, all that you know, professional YouTuber stuff, because that's that's what I am now. I'm a professional YouTuber, so I gotta learn. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe all the time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll, I'll see you next week.